Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a dusty purple geode. For this project, I'm doing the dye over ice method. So when you're in the Facebook group and you see the abbreviation DOI, that's what it stands for. And when adding my ice, I like to add enough ice to where I don't see any of the fabric showing through. Now this color is new to me. It's from Pro Chemical and Dye and it's dusty purple. And this tutorial will be going into the playlist of the single color ice dyes for Pro Chem. Once I get the dye on it the way that I like it, I give it a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and I set it off to the side and I let the ice melt. And after the ice melted, I came back and I checked it and it really had a lot of undersaturated areas. So I flipped it over and I repeated the process. If you're new to tie dyeing and you're not familiar with how to tie up a geode, I do have several tutorials where I show how I do it. And recently I tied one up live, so I do recommend that you go ahead and check that out. So once you flip it over and you repeat the process, it's recommended that you let your project batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours. And I let this project batch for the full 48 hours. Now it's time for the rinse out process. And what I've been doing with my geodes is I'm untying them before I do any of the rinsing. And I haven't noticed any issue within the sinew lines like getting dye in there. So I really do think that it saves on water. So I get it untied and then I start to rinse it by using cold water. Cold water is going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then I increase my water up too hot and I rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon. Kirilon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft and Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. And I have links for both of these products and everything else that I use for tie dye down below in the description box. So I recommend that you check that out. Like for instance, the over the sink strainer that I used, there's a link down there for that. Then I'll put the project in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our dusty purple geode after it's been washed and dried. And I think this shirt turned out beautiful. This is my first time working with this color and I couldn't be more pleased. Now these full shots of the shirt are a little bit bright and washed out. I really do need to get a better camera and I know I've been saying that for a couple of years, but I really do. Now these close-up shots show a little more of the depth and the true color to it. And just look at how beautiful that is. So the purple is gorgeous. It's all the way from dark purple like a dark plum all the way up to lavender and then it splits down into this really pretty bluish grayish green type color and it really reminds me a lot of dharma's teal blue so for those of you that have used dharma's teal blue you know what i'm talking about and it really complements you know the purple and the the teal that it breaks down to really complement one another. I mean, it's just super pretty. And for a first time using it, I couldn't be more happy. So I believe that ProChem is in Massachusetts, I think. So if you're closer to Massachusetts, I highly recommend that you check out ProChem because you'll save on shipping. Yeah, Dharma has a lot of colors, but so does ProChem. So I'm gonna definitely play around with this color more because I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now I mentioned before that this tutorial is going into the playlist of Pro Chem's single color tutorials. It's brand new, there's not much in there. This will be the second video going in, but I definitely recommend that you check that out because I'll be adding to it. And I'm still going to be adding into the playlist of Dharma's dye swatches. So I recommend that you check that out too. Overall, I'm so pleased with the way it turned out. 
What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!